All right, Josh Allen. He falls to the uh, <laughs> he falls to the uh, sword of Patrick Mahomes yet again. Considering everything that happened, Josh Allen arguably played the game of his life. Played the game of his life. Josh Allen. How much blame do you give Josh Allen for this loss to the Kansas City Chiefs, Darnell? 10%. 10%. I mean, what can you ask from the guy, to be honest with you? Going against a championship caliber team. Like, that I feel that technically couldn't even handle, they, they handled him in the most clutches of moments, but they couldn't handle him in a sense of, like you said, playing the game of his life. I felt like the Chiefs did a good job of keeping up with the keeping up with the score, but at the end of the day, man, like uh, I, I feel bad for the guy. I feel like he's going to be ridiculed. He's going to be uh, pointed out. He's you know people are going to feel like he's he's not as good as he is, and I mean that's not fair. I said this last week. Like, what if he actually does play the game of his life and they lose? Yeah, that was the I question. literally said that, that was a question for sure. And or I literally like made a, a point on that or I agreed to it. And it's just like that's not that's not right, bro. Like that's that's what I don't like with what happens to some athletes when they play the game with their lives and they still get the ridicule. Because at the end of the day, somebody has to freaking lose, and whether people like it or not. But sometimes you don't need to play the blame game and put it on the leader every single time. Sometimes it's just like I remember that quote about running out of time because it came from the greatest player of all basketball. I never lost. I just ran out of time. Bill yeah. Russell. Was that Bill? I thought that was Bill Mike. Russell. Okay. Yeah. He, if 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 Jordan said it, he got it from Bill Russell. Okay. Because that's the way they played. Like the the scores were like literally like five or ten points off when they lost. So it was a little like a matter of like, bro, we had one more one more game, one more run, we would have had them. Playing and simple. We just ran out of time, bro. Don't even trip. So. I look at that, bro. They, they, if Josh Allen had like literally two more minutes, like he's a legend, or he he he's, he's rewriting history, or he's slayed Goliath. But mm -hmm. the fact that you know things just didn't go quite their way, like, and it, 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 it's sad, bro. It's sad. I feel like he. I feel like. I feel like this happened the wrong season. I feel like this should have this game should have happened last season. Because last season, I was a fan of Josh Allen. I was cheering for him. I was MVPing him from week one. This season, I feel like I can understand why people do it, but I feel like the scenario is just messed up. It's like he's had too many times. But like I said, last year, he played his butt off the whole entire season, then got to the postseason and just was, couldn't get it done. He didn't play his, his his butt off. He threw interceptions. He had some turnovers. He had mistakes. This time he didn't. He played perfect. Like for a Russian quarterback, what do you want? So, like I said, man, it, it's unfortunate, man. Like bad timing. But I said they should have swapped the years. If he would have done this, if he would have had the ending he had last year, last year had the ending he had this year, you know, swapped it around. I don't think I don't think he would get the ridicule he would have got. Because he would have had his best year already in front of him with the best performance possible in front of him, behind him. And, and at that point, people would just be like, dude, that was the season he could have got it and just didn't go his way. But the fact that history is the way it is, Josh you saying, Allen, you saying, his, sort of the pick. you saying his best season just in like in totality, or are you talking about like the playoffs? Totality. His best okay. season was last year. Yeah, yeah. His best season. He's done it. For last year. Yeah, they only yeah. three games. So imagine that year with this ending. <clears throat> Do you really be mad at, at Josh Allen? Heck no, nah, bro. That was a beautiful year. The way it ended off of a kick. Yeah. Josh, yeah. you did everything, bro. I'm sorry you couldn't yeah. make it. Yeah, you yeah, like you literally <laughs> gave it all you could. All year. Like, but the fact that you had like that slump this year and then, then you lost in the playoffs, it was like, bro, like make your mind up. You want to be a winner or a loser? Winner or a loser. So I could see the, the 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 narrative from it, but it's just I don't know, man. It's hard being Josh Allen, bro. Name that the episode. It's hard to be Josh Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing go the right way. <laughs> so plenty of players have had those kind of seasons where they given their all and just they're 
You know about that. Not to be rude, but Damian Lillard, he'll give you a heck of a season and a heck of a postseason performance to where, like, bro, you did all you could. Like, I can't ridicule you for not getting the job done. You you, you put all, you laid out on the court. <laughs> Same thing with Josh Allen. He just has bad timing with it. It's like, you should have done that last year, bro. You should have played your butt off yeah. and had that a not on you situation. <laughs> yeah, Josh and Allen. Uh, Josh Allen uh, situation is just like off life can't get right. They <laughs> win for losing, literally. Yeah, bro. <laughs> um, so you give Josh Allen ten percent as quarterback as the leader. Uh, still with the game, still playing as great as you did. Uh man. I'm going back and forth between 40 and 60% blame. But I think I may reside at 40 just because I understand and trying to respect the game. He can't kick the ball either. However, I don't know, bro. I may go to 60. I don't know. I may go. To, it's definitely not 10. Here's why. Here's why. Um, the game is a full four quarters. It matters not if you're great for three and you're not great when you need to be in the fourth quarter, right? So. Oh, uh, I know when I was talking about the defenses, uh, the defenses for um the Chiefs, you wanted to make sure that I gave you uh, you know, full proper context, which is obviously fair. So putting Josh Allen's game in its totality, you know, into his proper perspective going against the Chiefs. Um Second. Two seconds. All right. <laughs> so putting Josh Allen's game into proper perspective against the Chiefs, Josh Allen throw for 186 yards, uh 66% completion on his passes, had one touchdown, no interceptions, and he rushed for 72 yards as well as rushed for two touchdowns. It sounds like a great game, right? If you heard that, you would think that's a great game. You think he did all he could. Quarters one through three. Quarters one through three. Josh Allen had a 76% completion rate. He had 196 yard total yard. He had 196 total yards. Had a passer rating of 102. Had three touchdowns and zero fumbles. Quarters one through three. When the game was on the line, when it was time to win in the fourth quarter, the money round, you could play horrible and all that be erased in the fourth quarter because you played great. You could play great. The first three quarters, and all of that can be erased because you play bad in the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter of this game against the Chiefs, Josh Allen had a 50% completion uh, rate, only completed 50% of his passes, had a total of 62 yards, had a passer rating of 56.8, had zero touchdowns, and he fumbled the ball once. Does when you hear that, dude, that sound like you gave it all you could, or did you have more you could have gave us to ensure that we could have won this game? Against the number one team, yes, sir. Number one defense, yes. Yes, I guess a number one against the number one or top five defense. Absolutely, yes, bro. I'm sorry. It's I mean, you're not playing against a, a top ten defense, you have the top five defense. And I mean, that carried them. Not even just a defense that's just like, oh, we're, they're pretty good. No, they carried Patrick to make him, like, not lose the game or not put it you – know, they, they secured games. Like, Patrick wasn't being secure this year. They were. Like you said, they, they've been that secret hidden joker card. So, 
it's 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 not impressive, obviously, but it's definitely like, bro. I mean, for do you expect that best defense to crumble against one player? I mean, you post. I mean, you. I don't think you're MVP this year, obviously, but I mean, dang, dude, like, I mean, what are you supposed to do? That's how I look at him. Just like, bro, you you go, but bro, like. You go into the fourth quarter, you're up. Patrick Mahomes is going to get off. He going to find a way to either get a touchdown or a field goal. You up in the fourth quarter, Chiefs go up on you, they score, and you get you get three possessions in the fourth quarter to make a way. You was Okafer. And even if you want to, like, put partial blame and say the kick or miss, okay, that final drive, Josh Allen, you could have got us closer. You could have you could have used your legs, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Get us a first down to get us closer. Who you know what I'm saying? And so it's just like all them factors. It's just like when you when you look at that and it's like, hey, did you do everything you possibly could? You got three drives in the fourth quarter to win this game, and on one of them possessions, you end up fumbling. I don't, yeah, 55, 55. 55, just to give some room and cadence to put blame on the kicker, 55. I give you 55, Josh. But I don't – remember 60, bro. I'm sorry. The fourth quarter holds a lot of value, bro. Fourth quarter holds a lot of value. 60% on Josh Allen. He got to take 60% of the blame of that, 60%. 60% Josh, 20% the kicker fault. And the other 20 you could put on coaching or in the defense or uh, Stephon Diggs dropping out of that catch early on. So, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you 60%, Josh. 